So if I say the words, honey boo boo child, do you know what I'm talking about? I don't do it nearly as well as she you does, do but I tried. I, I'm from Ohio, but I tried my best. That's the nickname of child beauty pageant star Alana Thompson. She and her family were able to take down the Republican National Convention last night. Uh, Thompson's been featured on TLC's Toddlers and Tiaras, of course. Well, now she has her own show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. And according to Nielsen, its ratings beat out the GOP convention, nabbing almost 3 million viewers. So I want to give you a flavor of the show. Here's TLC's trailer for Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, which started airing earlier this month. She's the toddler that took the TV world by storm. A dollar makes me holler, Honey Boo Boo. If you thought she was crazy... I got that! Wait till you meet the rest of her family. Hold on, scratch my butt. We're not ready. No. Yes, we well, are. We all have our teeth, don't we? <laughs> Did my family proud. You better recognize. Here comes Honey Boo Boo. The new series premieres Wednesday, August 8th. Only on TLC. <laughs> well, how she's got it all down. <laughs> I'm like, you better uh, recognize. Recognize, yeah. that's right. Uh, Kim Gravel's with us now. She uh, was Miss Georgia in 1991, Many and you are ago. owner of the pageant place. Yes. So, the, what we have to ask first and foremost is, what is the fascination with this family? I think it's because they're real and authentic. And I think America is ready to see something real. I mean, you laugh at them, you laugh with them. Yeah. I mean, you've got a, a, a variety of things to choose from. The mom is hilarious. Yeah. The mom is hilarious. She don't care. She don't care. Do you know them? I know I know of them several people away. Through? Yes. Okay. It's like okay. a seven by degrees of Kevin. Yes, by association. And they've been in the pageant world a long time. And you know what? I'm rooting for Alana, for Smoochie. I think they call her Smoochie. I'm rooting for her. I want, I want her to win. And I want her to be, they call it the grand ultimate supreme. I want her to win yeah. a pageant. I want but, she, but she hasn't won yet, is that right? She hasn't won the big title, but she's going to get there. Call me, girl. I'll hook you up. <laughs> well, that, you know what? That's true. Well, I'm going to get to that in a minute, but some people look at this and they think, oh my gosh, this is just ridiculous. And yeah. some people look at it, it's so entertaining, they think, you know what, this is just a regular family. Maybe they're not just like me, right. but they're a regular family, and like you said, they're authentic. Uh, is there anything about this to you that, that isn't? No, not at all. I think you Is this it. reality as reality TV It is gets? raw. When you are doing bodily functions on TV sneezing, blowing your nose. That's as real as you're going to get, girl. You're not going to get any realer than that. And I think they don't care. And I think a lot of times when we watch people who are very authentic yeah. and being themselves, it makes us want to be more of ourselves. Now, we're not like that, a lot of, a lot of but a lot of America is. A lot, there's a lot of, I have relatives like that, girl. <laughs> and you're from Georgia. And they're watching, yes. I'm from the South, and my red, I've got a little redneck in me myself. Uh, I've okay. trained my redneck. <laughs> I've harnessed it in. Is, is this indicative, too, when you look at the, the television numbers last night, the fact that they beat out the RNC, do you think that's indicative of the fact that maybe a show like this is somebody's, it's their Calgon moment, it's their escape, take, take away. me away, yeah. I don't want to see the political back and forth anymore? This is, what, this, is, this is my philosophy on it. Okay. It beat out the numbers for the Republican National Convention. Yeah. My prediction is next, next Wednesday it's yeah. going to beat out those numbers, too, because these political parties are talking mm -hmm. about the American dream. This little girl, Christy, is living it. She's living the American... Only in America can Honey Boo Boo Child become wealthy and have her own TV show. <laughs> living next to a trailer, basically in a trailer, next to the tr train tracks, on the wrong side of the tracks. Only in America. That is the American dream. Is she doing any... I only have a second, it, just real quickly. Is she doing... Is there any harm that could come to her, though, from all of this at such a young age? As long as she doesn't let it go to her head, fame and fortune, she'll be all right if she stays grounded, feet on the ground. There's so